The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. It's been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all.
Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Orzammar, largest and proudest of the two remaining Dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, precious. You've got a sweet look. Something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. Can we not do this in front of my brother? Why not? He knows the slope of the land, don't you, boy? Listen to the kid. He knows the deal you made. He lays low and does whatever jobs I don't want to risk anyone valuable on. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. Unless I start seeing results, we're going to renegotiate. I'm giving you another week, Precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. Just be careful about showing him. You've been lucky so far. He thinks it's funny when you and Lesky get vulgar. Some of the nobles I've met, they'd as soon have your head for speaking your mind. That's why I didn't tell you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. You know the other options. 
cleaning middens, begging, going to the surface. No, unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. bothering me. Rika? People bothering me all the time. I got important things to do here. Very, very important things. Sodding time. I was starting to think I'd have to bust in and get an eyeful of that spicy sister of yours. Growl. Boss says we're out for a search and discipline. One of his smugglers is holding out on him. Name's Oskias. Some surfacer. Barat got word that he's been selling shipments topside that never make it to Barat's ears down here. He wants us to find the rotter and see what goods he's holding back. Well, yours will be a short and tragic relationship. You ready to show him some pain? Well, if he is skimming, we kill him, of course. I mean, Barat doesn't let anyone swindle him and live. Bringing his head on a plate is completely optional, though. Whatever lets you sleep at night, my friend. Hey there, Carter boy. Care to try a taste of this? Humans say the Maker loves all of us. It doesn't matter what you're born. Spare silver. My boy needs medicine. The docs say he won't wake without it. Shall be done. Traces of Bronca and deep roads. Oh? Found her body, did they? No, tools. Signs this of place is going to the nugs. Very well. Barat won't want to see us without proof that surfacers. Dead. Go back to your dirt pile, scum. Get out of my face, boy. I assume this pile of worthless junk belongs to you. Turn around, Brand. No castless on the grounds. I think what my friend meant to say is we were just leaving. What were you thinking? No castless are allowed at the proving. They should send someone to pick up the trash.
Watch yourself. The Shaper doesn't need your footprints all over his clean clothes. We'll stand further back. I'm not gonna risk my position by having someone see you near his robes. After my mother took five years of her personal time sewing fine dresses for the head maid at the Shaperit, mother tells me they never considered a single other candidate when the position opened for underwasher. As if I'd stop for you. Smiling on my bets today. Another round for the house. Hey, I was saving that seat. That's real thoughtful, Ascaius. It's tiring work looking for you. How do you know my name? Look, I I always been loyal to Barat. He's been good to my family. I, I know how much I owe him. I haven't. I wouldn't. I'm getting out of here. You you two are mad. Barat knows I'd never betray him. I'll tell him myself. You're not going anywhere. Could everyone who isn't about to die please turn around for a moment? This may be unpleasant. Thank you. You, you can't do this. Help! Call the guardsmen! This is murder! You two let me know if you need anything. I'll be in the back. It's, it's just a bunch of rocks. You're gonna kill me for that? Back to Barat before he starts wondering what we've been doing. I didn't see any. Great prices on all arms and armor, like they were crafted by the Paragons of this The king is old. His rule won't hold much longer. Prince Balin seems far more sympathetic to our interests than Trian. Balin has some tastes of his own that he knows I can provide. We'll finish this later. It's about time you two showed up. What happened with Ascaius? One lousy nugget. You want me to believe that's all he got off with? He said he kept most of it topside. That was all he had on him. Very interesting. Seeing how my cousin happened to be at the Tapsters this afternoon. And he says he saw more than one Lyrium Nugget changing hands before that duster hit the tiles. Jarvia, search them. They got anything that looks like more coin than they're worth? Take it. I'm going to give you one more chance, one job. You split on this one, and you and your sweet sister are both out on the street. 
Not if you know what's healthy for you. This one, I want you invisible. The Warrior cast is hosting a proving today. All the best fighters, last man standing, you know the sort of thing. They're showing off for some Grey Warden who's looking for candidates to drag off to a life of eternal glory. Now, it's not often we get every name fighter in Orzammar lined up like that. And I have certain acquaintances who take an interest in this sort of thing. Warrior named Averd is a long shot, and I've got a lot of coin riding on him. I want you to make sure he wins. Find his quarters, and find out when he faces off with Minar. Minar's the best in the lineup, but I'll give you a drug to slip in his water to make sure Averd has the edge. You bet you will. Here's your pass to get on the grounds. The proving starts as soon as the clock strikes. And when I say I have coin on this, I'm not talking about some pittance like the value of your life. If I don't see Averd's name on the winner's sheet, you'd better make sure I never see you or your sister ever again. You again. I said you weren't allowed on the proving grounds, Bran. Hmm. Looks legitimate. Go on through then. But stay to the trenches. Grey Wardens don't need some eyesore getting between them and the fighters. Shall be done. Did you see that first bout? Ostar's helmet? I made it to third show. As you say, you may not think it to look at me, but I was a great soldier. Stone drunk. He could draw a dead man for his bout and still lose. Oh, Barat's gonna kill us if we slip up on this. He's still mad about the time I accidentally told that barkeep Barat had demanded free ale delivered to my door. Hey, I just had an idea. So, you've been rubbing my nose in how you're the meanest thing with a blade, right? If Aird's armor is over there, and you're about the same size. Right. I'll keep watch for the guards. And don't put on that armor until you're done. It's a little conspicuous, you know? Fighters are allowed in these chambers. Who are you? I don't care about your name, Brand. My fight should be called any moment now. You can come back and clean then. What? Sending some Brand a rifle through my personal possessions? I won't have it. Tell them Minar is insulted that he didn't get a real servant. And then... About three is next. Officer Minar versus the warrior of air. Fighters, take final preparations, then report to the ring. That's my fight. We'll finish this when I return victorious. No more time. Make sure you have everything and go tell the Proving Guard you're ready to fight. And don't forget to keep your helmet down.
Skull met Averd. I believe it is time for. May fortune favor your fight, Averd. Are you ready? As you say. This is a glory proving, fought under the watchful eyes of the Paragons of Ozomar, for our honored guests, the Grey Warden. The warrior Averd, son of Gauten, will fight Officer Mylar, survivor of the battle at Car Ellerin. You honor me with this fight. May the stone show the boldest heart through the strongest arm. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! <laughs> Memorable fight. The young cadet vanquishes the wily veteran. Healer, see to his injuries. The warrior Everd, son of Golden, will fight last year's journeyman division champion, Adalbo, proven in glory before the stone. You honor me with this fight. May we both win glory in the eyes of our lords. Warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The ancestors have withdrawn their blessings and embrace a new champion on their field. The warrior of air, son of Galton, will fight Lenka, silent sister in training. She has made her vows, but not completed her blooding. Will she be accepted into the legendary order? That will depend on her performance today. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Linka went to the stone without a sound, as befits her vows. But it wasn't hard to see the blood that was spilled. The Baird will advance to the final bout to determine the true champion of the ring against... What? Time out already? Hey! That's my armor! Who are you? How dare you disrupt this sacred... Wait, I know that man. That's a Verd. Then what imposter did I fight? Remove your helmet, warrior, and let all who watch you see your face. the very nature of this proving. Guards, take this filth away. Hold your man, I pray you. This warrior has defeated the best you have to offer. Is that not what this proving is for? We are honored by your presence, Warden. But this proving is not solely for you. There are laws which have governed this arena for a thousand years. This man is no warrior. 
He is castless, rejected by the ancestors. His very footsteps pollute the stone. He has no place here. Except as your champion. me their appreciation. One of the guards recognized me and figured we must be working together. They burned three candles to the stump interrogating me about who put us up to this. I think they knew, you know, about Barat. Public whipping, loss of your left hand for stealing the armor, loss of your right hand for befouling a smith's work, public flaying for impersonating a higher caste, and if that doesn't kill you, Put you to death for polluting the proving. That Grey Warden suggested exile, but it didn't seem like anyone was listening. You think I didn't look for a way out? Rika's not the only one in danger here. They could kill us. But these cells are built straight into the wall. They confiscated all my lockpicks. What's it look like on your side? You see any way out? Good, you're awake. Borat will be glad to hear that. You caused a lot of trouble today. Barat lost a hundred sovereigns for Lord Volney. The entire proving was declared invalid, and the Assembly already called for an investigation. You can't imagine the state Barat was in when he told me to get you. You're not in their cells anymore, and I don't think I appreciate the time and money it took to bribe the right people to get you back. You got every guardsman at that proving thinking if he takes your head off, the Ancestors will bless him forever. But they know whose hand holds the whip. When Barat claimed you, they knew who's going to get to watch your last breath. You risked exposing him before the entire warrior cast. Now they're asking questions, and as long as you have tongues to answer them, you're a threat. Enjoy your last night together, boys. Barat will be by soon to make sure you maintain your silence. Leave off with your noise. You're giving me a headache. What do you mean? Oh, you're probably just upset. I remember one time when Mistress Jarvia was mad at me. She didn't lock me up, but she yelled a lot. And she hit me on the head. But it was real nice of her not to kill me. It is 
begun. Stop bothering me. Where? I don't see nothing wrong. She. Hey, what the? Very well. I shall do it. If we want to get away with this, if we want to get away with this, we can't leave one man alive to tell Barat what we've done. It has begun. 